Welcome to the Neurology Channel, your go-to source for all things related to brain health and neurological disorders. In today's video, we'll be discussing a topic of utmost importance. Top 10. Early Signs of Parkinson's Disease Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder that affects movement. Recognizing the early signs is crucial for early diagnosis and intervention. So, without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 signs you should be aware of. Number 10. Changes in Handwriting Let's delve deeper into this subtle yet significant early sign of Parkinson's disease. Have you ever noticed a change in your handwriting? Perhaps your letters have become smaller, more cramped, or less legible over time. This phenomenon, known as micrographia, is a common indicator of Parkinson's disease. Micrographia occurs due to the progressive nature of Parkinson's disease, which affects the brain's ability to control fine motor movements. As a result, individuals may find it increasingly difficult to maintain consistent handwriting size and style. The brain sends signals to the muscles in the hand and fingers to produce handwriting. In Parkinson's disease, these signals can become disrupted, leading to a reduction in the amplitude and fluidity of movements. Changes in handwriting can be one of the earliest signs of Parkinson's disease. Patients often report feeling as though their hand is cramped or that they cannot control the size of their letters. It's essential to pay attention to these subtle changes and seek medical evaluation if they occur. It's important to note that micrographia may not be immediately noticeable and can progress gradually over time. However, it serves as a valuable clue for healthcare providers during the diagnostic process. Number nine, loss of smell or anosmia. Let's explore how changes in your sense of smell can serve as an early warning sign of Parkinson's disease. Have you ever noticed that you can't detect certain odors as well as you used to? Perhaps your favorite scents seem faint or even non-existent. This loss of smell, medically termed anosmia, can be an early indicator of neurological changes associated with Parkinson's disease. The sense of smell is closely linked to the brain's olfactory system. When you inhale a scent, specialized cells in the nasal cavity send signals to the brain where they are processed and interpreted. In Parkinson's disease, changes occur in the brain's olfactory pathways, leading to a diminished sense of smell. Patients may notice a gradual decline in their ability to detect odors, even those that were once strong and distinct. Research suggests that anosmia can precede the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease by several years, making it a valuable early marker for the condition. Anosmia in Parkinson's disease is believed to result from the accumulation of alpha-synuclein protein in the olfactory bulb, a key brain region involved in processing smells. These changes disrupt the normal function of olfactory neurons, leading to a decreased ability to perceive smells accurately. Number eight, trouble sleeping. Let's delve into how disruptions in sleep patterns can serve as an early indication of Parkinson's disease. Have you been struggling to get a good night's sleep lately? Do you find yourself tossing and turning, unable to find a comfortable position? These sleep disturbances can be more than just a passing inconvenience. They could be a sign of underlying neurological changes associated with Parkinson's disease. Sleep is essential for overall health and well-being, and it's controlled by complex interactions within the brain. In Parkinson's disease, disruptions in the brain's neurotransmitter systems, particularly dopamine, can lead to alterations in sleep architecture. Many individuals with Parkinson's disease experience problems with both falling asleep and staying asleep. These issues can manifest as insomnia, fragmented sleep, or restless leg syndrome, all of which can significantly impact quality of life. Research suggests that sleep disturbances can occur years before the onset of motor symptoms, making them an important early warning sign for healthcare providers to consider. The exact mechanisms underlying sleep disturbances in Parkinson's disease are complex and multifactorial. Changes in dopamine levels, alterations in circadian rhythms, and the presence of other coexisting conditions can all contribute to sleep disruptions. Number seven, constipation. Let's explore how changes in bowel habits can provide valuable insights into the early stages of Parkinson's disease. Have you been experiencing difficulty with bowel movements lately? Do you find yourself straining or feeling incomplete evacuation? These symptoms of constipation could be more than just occasional occurrences. They could be early indicators of underlying neurological changes associated with Parkinson's disease. The gastrointestinal tract is regulated by the enteric nervous system, a complex network of nerves that controls digestion and bowel function. In Parkinson's disease, abnormalities in this system can lead to a range of digestive problems, including constipation. Constipation is a common non-motor symptom of Parkinson's disease, often preceding the onset of motor symptoms by several years. It results from a combination of factors, including slowed movement of the intestines and dysfunction in the autonomic nervous system. 
Research suggests that individuals with Parkinson's disease have reduced levels of dopamine, a neurotransmitter involved in regulating smooth muscle movement in the digestive tract. This decrease in dopamine can lead to decreased intestinal motility and delayed gastric emptying, contributing to constipation. Additionally, medications used to manage Parkinson's disease, such as dopamine agonists and anticholinergics, can further exacerbate constipation as a side effect. Number six, stooped posture. Let's explore how changes in posture can serve as an early indicator of Parkinson's disease. Have you noticed a change in your posture? Do you find yourself leaning forward or hunching over more than usual? These alterations in body alignment, known as stooped posture, can be early signs of underlying neurological changes associated with Parkinson's disease. Posture is controlled by a complex interplay of muscles, joints, and the nervous system. In Parkinson's disease, degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in the brain leads to alterations in muscle tone and coordination, affecting posture and balance. Individuals with Parkinson's disease often develop stooped posture as a result of muscle stiffness and rigidity, which are hallmark symptoms of the condition. This forward-leaning posture can affect mobility and increase the risk of falls if not addressed. Over time, stooped posture can become more pronounced, making it challenging to maintain an upright position while standing or walking. This can result in decreased confidence and independence in performing daily activities. Number five, softer monotone speech. Let's explore how changes in speech patterns can provide valuable insights into the early stages of Parkinson's disease. Have you noticed a change in your speech? Do others comment that you sound quieter or less expressive than before? These alterations in speech quality, characterized by softness or a lack of intonation, can be early signs of underlying neurological changes associated with Parkinson's disease. Speech is a complex process that involves precise coordination of muscles and neural pathways. In Parkinson's disease, degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in the brain can lead to alterations in the basal ganglia, a brain region responsible for motor control, including speech production. Changes in speech patterns, such as softness or monotony, can occur early in Parkinson's disease due to muscle stiffness and rigidity, particularly in the muscles of the face and throat. These changes can affect communication and social interactions, impacting overall quality of life. Individuals with Parkinson's disease may also experience difficulty with articulation and pronunciation, resulting in speech that sounds slurred or mumbled. Number four, facial masking. Let's delve into how changes in facial expression can serve as a telling sign of Parkinson's disease. Have you noticed a lack of facial expression? Do others comment that your face appears fixed or expressionless, even when you're not feeling that way? These changes, known as facial masking, can be early indicators of underlying neurological changes associated with Parkinson's disease. Facial expressions are controlled by a network of nerves and muscles in the face, which receive signals from the brain to convey emotions and social cues. In Parkinson's disease, degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in the basal ganglia can disrupt these signals, leading to a reduction in spontaneous facial movements. Facial masking is a common non-motor symptom of Parkinson's disease, resulting from the loss of facial muscle control and rigidity. Patients may appear as though their face is frozen in a neutral or emotionless expression, even when they're experiencing internal emotions. This lack of facial expression can impact social interactions and communication, making it challenging for individuals with Parkinson's disease to convey their feelings and engage with others effectively. Number three, tremors. Let's explore how involuntary shaking movements can signify the early stages of Parkinson's disease. Have you noticed uncontrollable shaking in your hands, arms, or other parts of your body? These tremors, while commonly associated with Parkinson's disease, may not always manifest in the early stages. However, when they do occur, they can be a significant indicator of underlying neurological changes. Tremors in Parkinson's disease are caused by disruptions in the brain's basal ganglia, particularly the substantia nigra, which regulates movement and coordination. Degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in this region leads to irregular signaling patterns, resulting in tremulous movements. Tremors are one of the hallmark symptoms of Parkinson's disease, typically occurring at rest and often starting on one side of the body. While not all individuals with Parkinson's experience tremors, they are a common early sign that warrants further evaluation. Tremors can vary in severity and frequency, ranging from mild shaking to more pronounced movements that interfere with daily activities. They may also worsen with stress, fatigue, or emotional distress. Number two, slowed movement or bradykinesia. Let's delve into how a gradual decline in movement speed can be an early indicator of Parkinson's disease. Have you noticed that it takes longer to perform everyday tasks? 
Do you feel as though your movements are sluggish or delayed? These changes in movement speed, known as bradykinesia, can be one of the earliest signs of underlying neurological changes associated with Parkinson's disease. Bradykinesia in Parkinson's disease is caused by disruptions in the brain's basal ganglia, particularly the substantia nigra, which plays a crucial role in regulating voluntary movements. Degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in this region leads to impaired signaling, resulting in a slowing of movement initiation and execution. Bradykinesia is a cardinal feature of Parkinson's disease, often presenting as a progressive decline in movement speed and agility. Patients may notice difficulties with tasks such as walking, getting out of a chair, or performing fine motor activities. Over time, bradykinesia can significantly impact daily functioning, making simple activities more challenging and time-consuming. Tasks that were once performed effortlessly may require increased effort and concentration. Number one, stiffness and rigidity. Let's explore how a sensation of stiffness and inflexibility in the muscles can be a prominent early sign of Parkinson's disease. Have you noticed that your muscles feel tight and resistant to movement? Do you experience stiffness, especially in the morning or after periods of inactivity? These sensations of stiffness and rigidity can be indicative of underlying neurological changes associated with Parkinson's disease. Stiffness and rigidity in Parkinson's disease result from alterations in the brain's basal ganglia, particularly the substantia nigra, which regulates muscle tone and coordination. Degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in this region leads to increased muscle tension and resistance to passive movement. Stiffness and rigidity are hallmark features of Parkinson's disease, often affecting multiple muscle groups throughout the body. Patients may describe a sensation of tightness or heaviness, particularly in the arms, legs, neck, and trunk. This increased muscle tone can make everyday movements feel more challenging and laborious. Activities such as getting dressed, turning over in bed, or walking may require more effort and energy. And there you have it, the top 10 early signs of Parkinson's disease. If you or a loved one are experiencing any of these symptoms, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional for a proper evaluation and diagnosis. Remember, early detection can lead to better management and improved quality of life. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Neurology channel for more informative content on neurological health. Until next time, take care.